Welcome back. I'm joined by Championship correspondent Pascal Lemaire to preview Saturday's cast between Leeds and Brentford. Pascal, I'll start with the home side, back to back wins. Yeah, they're looking good. I think they haven't lost in 2015 yet. It's four unbeaten for them, and it's very important for them to win that game against Huddersfield. Obviously, big Yorkshire derby on Saturday lunchtime, and because the previous result, they beat league leaders Bournemouth, and you know, they've had some impressive results. They, they, their last victory before that Bournemouth win was against Derby, the, the other side in the automatic promotion places. So it shows they can beat the big teams, but they needed to back it up because they have, they weren't able to do that um, once they beat Derby. So to back it up with a 2 1 win against Huddersfield, massive result for them. Obviously, Billy Sharp coming up with a late goal. It was a dodgy instant. Tommy Smith, the Huddersfield player, getting injured, but he's since been discharged, which is good news from hospital. So that's good for them. And obviously, I think the, the highlight of that game wasn't, well, obviously the win was a big thing, but the performance of Sol Bamber at the back, he's come in, he's got Premier, uh, English experience, sorry, mm. with, um, you know, with Leicester City back in the day, but he's been in Italy and he came in and looked really solid at the back. A lot of people picking out his performance as a standout man. So that's really good for them. Obviously, he's come in, obviously, with the transfer embargo, they couldn't do too much this month. They sort of and let a couple of players go, Stephen Warner going. Rudy Austin in the end didn't go, and it looked like he was going to go to Wigan in the end. But I mean, it's good to keep him. I know he's, he used to be the club captain, he's not anymore, and he sort of faded in and out of the team this year. And I think he doesn't play well every time he plays, but I think he's quite an important sort of dressing room figure. He's quite a big leader in the dressing room. And they did sign Canny, this guy from uh, Catania. I don't know too much about him, but I think with the obviously embargo there, they couldn't do too much. But obviously, it is improving recently, like I said, four unbeaten, but they're still 19th in the table, still a long way to go if they're going to get away from the relegation scrap. Moving on to Brentford, saw their winning run come to end last time against Middlesbrough. Yeah, there were three games winning, uh, three game winning streak going into that game. It was a massive game against Borough, obviously one of the teams above them in the in the playoff places. And yeah, Brentford they played really well again. I watched the game; they really, really impressed me, like they did the, the week before against Norwich. They somehow couldn't score. You know, they had a lot of chances in that game, and you know, in the end, they conceded a penalty. And obviously, Grant Ledbetter stuck it away. He's been dead eye from the pot spot this year. Scored all eight penalties that he's taken, but. Yeah, I don't think Brentford, they'll be too annoyed with that. I mean, they've lost some big games at home in the last month or so. They lost to Ipswich on Boxing Day. That was a big game, obviously welcoming Middlesbrough here. So they're down to fifth in the table now, and I think they're sort of five points off the top two. So they're still not that far off. They look okay in the playoffs. I think four points, uh, they're above, four, four points above seventh place. So they look okay at the moment. I mean, they they weren't a bit too busy in the transfer window. They signed O'Connell, a young player from Blackburn Rovers. I don't think he'll be sort of a a regular starter for them but I think Mark Warburton said he's one for the future and as for Warburton himself you know since Redknapp resigned as QPR boss he's been linked with that job there but I don't think he'll get it I mean I'd be very surprised if he leaves Brentford obviously QPR just down the road and it wouldn't be a big change you know West London as well but Tim Sherwood's a big favourite there so I'd be very surprised if he got that and I think Warburton will stay and you know, yeah he's done a fantastic job with Brentford. Brentford would be really keen to return to winning ways you think they will? I really do actually I think Leeds even though they're unbeaten in four they're still sort of a they're not the best team. I think they've got a lot of problems there, team selection-wise. But I think Brentford, you know, they've looked, they've really impressed me. I've watched them the last two weeks; been very, very impressed. I think they'll get the win here, three-two. So what's on for a three-two away win? 